Hello squad and welcome to RimWorld. On this video I will show you guys what my kill box looks like. This is my base. I already at the late stage of the base. So I basically maxed out my pawns. This kill box is a combined multiple kill box. I combined multiple kill box design into one death maze. Adam Fesses Everything has this detailed design video on Killbox, you should check him out on his channel, YouTube channel. My maze consists of a maze with fences to slow and group them up. The first encounter this raider will face is the mine, you, you, you saw that. Mines. Berserk Pulse Corner. The design is shaped like a U shape like this. Like this, a U shape. So I can use my Berserk, uh, berserk Pulse spell on them while they cannot see me. It's basically, free spell. I learned this from Adam versus everything in this video. I can use basic pulls on as many targets as I can get. If you know a better way or design, let me know in the comment section. I have three casters ready with my basic pulls. Uh, it's because they need to cycle their spell because they need cooldown. Timer. I have three caster with circles ready to cycle their spell. I already in the maximum rate point stage. I max out most of my pawns. Most of my pawns I have spells. We don't even have to face them. They are now hitting each other. for the next wave to trickle down. I usually wait until the main wave trickle down, but in this case, I just cycle it as soon as. It's not an efficient way, but if you wait until they group up, the thing is, if the pawns doesn't have a target, they, will, they can stack in, on top of each other like this they are stacking on top of each other so we can have maximum number of pawns that affected by the berserk pulls once they have a target you can see that they can only use one tile per pawn after that they start to stack on top of each other again and I repeat the cycle this first method, you don't use anything. I just use on the right side. There's three melee fighters that killing the rest of the enemy. This is the zigzag exploit. If they survive, these three guys, these three melee guys. They will have to face uh, plasteel traps and then face my shooting squad on the end of the maze, which is a singularity, singularity kill box design. If you need a humane meat or humane leather for resources or to bribe surrounding cities, you can use this first method. You need prisoners to you can exchange prisoners for honor and then so you can have a spell on your on your pawns. On the second method I will use the auto cleanup 
auto cleanup method using molotovs and fire of course you can see here I prepare a room for my pawns to go to the back of their line to molly them so you don't have to deal with the corpse, the weapons basically it will clean up itself but you don't get prisoners and leathers and meat Once again, the berserk pulls deal with the first wave. After the berserk ended, they were still fighting each other. I don't know what. Maybe that's the algorithm. I don't know. But we'll wait until the second wave hits the end of the area. Then hits them again. The berserk pulls. Once again, I will have one or two guys ready with a melee weapon on the corner a zigzag corner I, pre I, I here prepare my molotov guy to lift them up soon I will have to lift them up if you want to clean up and don't want to deal with the mess We only need to lit one tile and it will spread like crazy. Oops, sorry. The door's closing. Open it again, dude. Come on. They're already fleeing. What? It's too fast. Okay, now we go around. Once there's a fire inside the maze, it is an, actually an indoor maze. It is indoor maze. Even when you open the door, the temperature inside will be maxed out in no time, 1,000 degrees. But some pawns will able to run away because the berserk pulls deals too much damage it's too fast the aftermath on the late stage of the game sometimes can overwhelm your pawns your pawns get busy of getting rid of the corpse hauling them to the refrigerator and you can see no one escaped the zigzag maze and I don't even need to put pawns on the shooting squad I don't even have to get ready my shooting squad on the singularity uh, kill box but in this case one pawn, one pawn gets away and I only need one, one of my pawns to deal with him there you go you will have a clean maze in no time because the fire will engulf them and we only get a number of prisoners small prisoners that step on the mine outside the maze entrance we'll capture them and if they survive until the do you call the empire the empire comes trade with them with the honor you can collect the honor points 
So you can see no one survived. Most of it will step on my plastic spike trap before facing my shooting squad on the last kill box, a singular really kill box. Adam shows me what I know, so if you want to check on the detail layout and explanation, check Adam versus everything's channel. There it is. We get some prisoners to sell for honor and small amount of human meat and leather to bribe surrounding cities. If you like my kill box, hit the like button. If you want a tour of my base, comment down below and hit the subscribe button. I will really, I will really appreciate it and it will really help this channel out.